A Long Island community is stepping up to help with relief efforts after that horrible earthquake in Turkey and Syria. CBS News' Carolyn Gussoff reports Long Island's largest employer is sending much needed medical supplies to the region. As the rubble settles and the mission turns from rescue to recovery, Long Island's largest private employer in the nation's second biggest Turkish American community behind New Jersey's is sending more than 1,200 cases of medical and surgical supplies. Many Northwell Health doctors and staff have suffered personal losses. Living in the street, uh, they, they're too scared to go into buildings with their families. There are still aftershocks. Members of Amin Al Hadi's family in Syria survived but is left with nothing. The amount of human suffering going on there is immeasurable. Paramedic Abit Soilo lost cousins in a building collapse. Not being able to, you know, help those people or just comfort them for their loss. It was, it was it's very, very hurting. These health workers who ease human suffering are reaching out across the globe. Northwell is sending 22 pallets of trauma supplies, dialysis kits. Things like tourniquets, orthopedic equipment to fix broken bones and crushed limbs. Those things are in short supply again because of the war in Ukraine. We've done this many times before and you can never do enough in this circumstance. The need is also great for medicine and prosthetics. I feel so sad about the children who lost their arms and legs. They have been amputated. The Consul General of Turkey in New York says with 100,000 injured, medical support is the most urgent need as 28 field hospitals are open. But monetary help from the public is still essential. Money has a direct impact on the ground. I think the psychological scars of this earthquake will be you know, will last much longer than any of the physical scars. The need for telemedicine and mental health services predicted to skyrocket in the months and years to come. In Bethpage, Long Island, Carolyn Gossoff, CBS 2 News.